non-transparent allocation of frequency. Non-transparent allocation of frequency. And in any event, the cost of the frequency is that high. So you hear uh, Mr. Uh, John Appenting. If you read Dr. Reku Grobe's book, Plenty Talk Day for Ghana. So he says that the cost of the frequency itself is so high that when you get the frequency, then the aim is to make money. So he's advocating, uh, advocating for a reduction in the fees, significant reduction in the fees when you're getting the frequency. That's the uh, uh, frequency that's used to establish the station. And now, of course, when it comes to the operations of the National Communication Authority, that's also a huge obstacle in our progress towards better press freedom. So the number of things that are said against the National Communications Authority, number one, very political. So once the politician controls National Communications Authority, then the frequencies themselves are what? Controlled. Do you see the last bag of frequencies that were given out? Yeah. Yeah, so people will tell you that a lot were given to politicians or people who were tightly affiliated to politicians. So you see the business, it becomes the politician controlling everything. So then there are calls that NCA itself needs to be reformed to make it independent of executive control. Make it very independent. Because look, as I said, if we don't fight, if we don't continue complaining, the politicians will roll back everything we have. Yes. That's a plain truth. Okay, so the structure of the National Communications Authority is a problem. And in fact, uh, Professor Kakari, uh, Kakari and uh, others, they are actually advocating for the taking away okay, of the licensing regime from the National Communication Authority and giving it to the National Media Commission. You see it? So that is a debate for another day. But definitely, what we are crying about, what we cannot take, is that the NN and uh, the NCA is too controlled and too close to the government. That is a problem. Mm -hmm.